secluded tropical island in the northern Gulf of Thailand. Several clans of crab-eating macaques known locally as sea monkeys thrive. They compete for territory and finite survival resources and are superbly adapted to these rugged coastal landscapes. They share the island with a variety of endemic predators. Navigating these threats is a particularly perilous challenge for the young. With a land area of under half a square mile packed with over 300 monkeys, the competition over territory and resources is fierce. To cope with food security challenges, crab-eating macaques have developed several remarkable behaviours, including a culture of stone tool use. By employing stone tools, they can harvest otherwise impenetrable mollusks and shellfish from the rocky coastline. It's a boon for nutrition, making rocky shorelines the most highly prized territory in the island. An equally surprising adaption is their ability to swim for long distances under the water and even to harvest mollusks and crabs while duck diving. The bounty of the sea has become a critical dietary supplement for these voracious omnivores. In more recent times, a new food resource has arrived by sea thanks to humans. Charter yacht day trippers began visiting Sea Monkey Island and would tip the monkeys with food and snacks in return for selfies. The new food resource allowed the population to soar but a COVID-19 ban on all charter yacht cruises resulted in a food shortage on this overpopulated island. Rivalry between the clans has increased accordingly. Skirmishes are now more common than ever, and the stakes can easily escalate into life and death running battles. Storm is a mischievous, carefree infant, only eight days old, watched over by his adoring and protective mother, Kara. Storm is still learning the ways of the truth, where the idiosyncrasies of macaque's social behaviour and etiquette are strictly enforced. When he is not suckling and being caressed by Kara, Storm spends much of his time trying to explore his surroundings independently. Yet Kara is cautious about Storm's movements for good reason. Danger is always lurking nearby. Macaques are not quite at the top of the food chain on Sea Monkey Island. Danger lurks on the land, the sea and in the skies. Smaller predators also pose a potentially deadly threat to the young. Only the vigilant survive. Storm's boisterous older brother Rowdy, age two on the other hand, is now free to roam and explore the world with his buddies. They constantly bait and test each other, a crucial part of bonding and establishing one's place in the social order. Developing advanced fight and flight skills will hold them in good stead in the months and years ahead. Kara, Rowdy and Storm are part of the Tunnel Rock Clan who inhabit the rugged northern shoreline of Sea Monkey Island. Their territory is defined by forests, sea cliffs, rocky headlands and a tropical barrier reef. They move regularly throughout all of these environments to access nutrition and to defend them against encroachment by marauders. The Tunnel Rock Troop is led by Alpha Male Rex, a stern but fair leader supported by his key backers, Scrapper and Shadow. They work together to defend their troop against two separate teams of marauders, made up primarily of rogue males, hellbent on usurping power. Known as the Ravagers, they are renowned on the island for spreading fear, pain, and even death, and they are feeling emboldened. With over 300 hungry monkeys trying to survive on a small tropical island, Facing a wide range of threats, there are only two certainties in the coming season for the younger generations like Storm and Rowdy. First is that some of their generation won't make it out of the current season alive. The second certainty is that teamwork and cooperation with their peers will be key for survival. The battle lines have been drawn and the outlook for all involved remains uncertain.